Hey guys, today's video is a Dollar Tree DIY video and in this video I'm going to be sharing with you guys some high-end modern Christmas tree home decor DIYs. So for the first DIY, I'm going to be using these like 3D thick wood Christmas trees that they have at Dollar Tree right now that I was super excited to find and I shared it with you guys in my Dollar Tree haul. They also have this in like a bell shape and also a star shape, but I wanted to do the Christmas trees because I saw Liz, another YouTuber, Liz Fawick DIY. She used these and did a color blocking kind of technique on it and she did it with red and green and I love the way that she did it so I wanted to try my hand at making kind of like a high-end modern decor feel to it so I grabbed three of them as well but I'm gonna be doing a different color for each of them to give you guys different options so this first one I loved the wood grain on this one you can really see the beautiful wood grain on this one so I wanted to be able to have this shown so for this one I'm going to have it it's natural wood finish and I'm also going to paint it white so I'm taking this painter's tape that you can also find in the auto section at Dollar Tree and I'm taping off where I want to paint the white part. And in Liz Faywick DIY's video, she kind of did this and she did two different pieces and had two different colors and she did like a, cl a color blocking method. I wanted to do kind of like a more modern geometric kind of slanted method that I've been seeing on different kind of decor. So I'm just doing one color for each. Well, I'm doing one, two colors for each of these trees. And so that's why I'm only going to use one piece of tape to block off one area to paint it. So I'm basically just using like the parts of the Christmas tree to kind of take the tape from to go from one end to another so that I can block off the area where I want to paint um, the white piece too. I mean the white paint too. For the next two Christmas trees, I'm gonna paint them both completely white. For one, their wood finishes weren't as nice, so when you are looking at these, make sure that you really get a look at them because some of them do come chipped and mess up. And also because I wanted these to be a little bit more modern, like kind of high-end glam looking. Um, the first one is more of like high-end kind of farmhouse, and this one's more like, you know, these next two would be kind of like high-end glam or modern for your, you know, for your decor style. I did two coats of white paint on this and then once the second coat was still a little bit wet, I took off the tape because you don't want it to be completely dry because sometimes it might chip the paint. And look how gorgeous this tree came out. I just love it. It's that neutral kind of farmhouse feel. I'm in love with this Christmas tree. I also did two coats of white paint on these Christmas trees and then I taped them off and painted them the exact same way that I did the first one, only I did one in black and then one in red. Now in Liz Fawick DIY's video, she used some long sticks to actually stand up these trees, but I didn't want to have like a long stand in the back. So I'm taking these um, Jenga block pieces, these tumbling towers that they have at Dollar Tree that we use so much for DIYs. And I wanted to share with you guys that there's two sizes now, the small size that was normally there and now this huge size that guys is such a great deal for DIYs. But uh, I'm just taking one of them and I'm going to take my hot glue gun and glue it to the back. Now the key to this is when you are gluing it you need to have your tree a little bit slanted because if you glue it straight like having it straight up to the um the side it won't stand up so you have to slant your tree a little bit so that it stands up perfectly And this is how they turned out you guys and I'm absolutely in love with these. They came out so good and so high end looking. And you can make a set of, you know, two of these, a set of three of these, all the same color scheme if you want. The reason why I did three different colors is because I like to give you guys variety on my channel. So if you're into that farmhouse neutral, the first one might be, you know, the right one for you. If you're into that modern black and white, the second choice would be good for you. And if you just want just some traditional Christmas colors, then the red and the white one is perfect for you as well. So I'm going to be using all three of these in different parts of my house because in different parts of my home, I have decorated like different 
other ways so like I said I just I'm in love with this you can just have it on its own like one of them sets of two sets of threes but this is so gorgeous so inexpensive and it looks so high-end modern for your home for Christmas I wanted to make bigger versions of this decor piece so I took these signs that they have at Dollar Tree right now these um, skinnier signs and this one right here I love the wood grain on this one when I saw it the wood grain on this was absolutely beautiful so I knew that this one I wanted to do the same thing I did with the first one that I shared with you guys for it like that white and neutral but be careful because just like the other ones these little signs these little uh, unfinished signs they also have some of them look nice like this one and some of them don't. So you have to kind of look at the wood grains if you want to go for that wood grain look. Keep looking and make sure you find one that has a nice wood grain. So I'm doing the same thing. I'm taping it off and I'm painting this white just like I did the, the first ones that I shared with you guys. As I was taking the tape off, I noticed that I got a little bit of white paint on the natural part. And at first I took a butter knife and I kind of tried to chip it off, but I noticed that I was messing up the wood doing that. So then I just got a rag and I kind of dampened it. And I, cause I remember that the paint was still kind of, you know, not fully dry and that did the trick it got right up so it's good to always take the tape off when the paint is still a little bit wet and if you have like a mess up like I did it can easily come off with you know just a rag and some water and I wanted to show you guys that mess up because I think that you know we should always see the mess ups that way you guys know like the goods and the bads that happens in our DIYs and then I just glued a you know one of those little tumbling towers in the back the same way that I did the first DIY so that it could be a stand as well but you can also take this and put it kind of like on one of those pallet boards or you could put it on another board however you want to do it um, and you know kind of layer it like that but I just wanted these to be standing up so that when I put them to decorate they're just kind of like sitting on my shelf or sitting on a table For these next two, I'm gonna paint them completely white like I did the other one, but I'm gonna do a different little twist to this. Instead of painting them black or red, I'm actually gonna add contact paper to them to give them kind of a more glam look and kind of a farmhouse look. And so that way it's, you guys have a different variety. I love giving you guys variety. So the two that I'm gonna be using, I have a marble contact paper for a glam look, and I also have a wood grain paper for more of a farmhouse feel. Now this marble paper, um, contact paper, I get it at Walmart and you get it for around $5. And as you can see, it's a big roll and I've used it for a lot of DIYs. So it comes with a lot for um, around $5. So that's a good deal. Now this one, if you want a Dollar Tree um, um, option, this one is in Dollar Tree, the wood grain one. People have used it for a lot of DIYs. DIYs and so you can use this one as well for that little you know farmhouse touch and so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add it to like the bottom part where I would have taped it off to um, to paint I'm just going to add the marble contact paper um, first so what I'm doing is I'm going to cut out I'm gonna measure like a square or a rectangle around the same size of the Christmas tree and then I'm going to take it, um, I'm going to cut it in as, as, as much as I can to the size of the Christmas tree. Then I'm going to layer it on top of the Christmas tree and then fold it down diagonal to connect the corners so that I can get a nice slant on where it would, you know, where it would be. And so and then I want to make sure that the wood grain and also the marble lays like it needs to be um, on my on my actual Christmas tree that what that's the reason why I'm gonna lay it over it first and slant it backwards so that that way I have the wood grain going this the right way and the marble going the right way and then I'll cut it off and then I just attach it to my you know my Christmas tree I will say that the one from Walmart sticks better than the one from Dollar Tree though Thank you. 
This one right here looks very glam to me and it's for all of my little glamorous people who love to decorate with marble. This would also look nice if you guys had that gold strip tape and put it on the like in between the two pieces. It would make this look so nice but I love how high in this looks. And then this is how the wood grain one turned out which I was really surprised how this one turned out because I wasn't sure how the brown and the white would go together but it looks absolutely gorgeous together. I love it. This is definitely going in my bedroom because you guys know I decorate with farmhouse fields in my bedroom so you will see that in my decorate with me videos and that is it for today's video you guys I hope you guys enjoyed it I had so much fun making these these came out way better than I thought they would and I can't wait to decorate that with them in my home um, probably come in November I'm gonna get a head start on Christmas stuff stay tuned because I have a pottery barn inspired dupe to share with you guys on the next video I took some Dollar Tree items and created some two different pottery barn items for Christmas that are they came out so cute that you guys are gonna love so stay tuned for those videos and if you have any other DIYs that you want to see on my channel for Christmas let me know in the comments down below and also let me know your favorite uh, DIY to today's video and I'll catch you guys in my next video bye guys hey guys don't forget to click on the picture in the middle of the screen so you can subscribe to my channel and get notifications on all the new videos that i put out and check out these other two videos that i have posted on my channel on either side of my picture have a great day